What's up guys, Brian here, got my gloves on, got my N95 respirator on, got the goggles on, just over here at Walmart, just thugging it out. This is actually the first day that I have went to the grocery store or any store in one month. Uh, so kind of crazy, I'm in the vast minority here, most people aren't taking this serious, they don't have any kind of mask on, they don't have any and they just act like this doesn't apply to them, even though 20 miles away from here there was a meat packing plant that you know had 900 cases pop up in a single day if you think all those 900 people suddenly infect you know two three other people you're going to have an explosion of cases and stuff like that now i've seen everybody say that hey you know this is a hoax all the way to yeah this is super serious and stuff and all the projections are just absolutely annoying um to no end because at one point they were saying, oh, by the end of August, it looks like we're only going to have 74,000 cases. And I was just sitting there looking at like, where are they coming up with that? You know, we're getting close to that now at this point. That was a couple weeks ago. Then today they come out and say, oh, there could be 300,000 uh, deaths by June. And they just keep going all over the place, all over the place. And my question to you guys is, should we even have locked down at all? You know, did, did it even matter uh, that we did this? Most people aren't kind of taking it serious in a lot of these states anyway. And um, there's all kinds of finger pointing going on. There's all kinds of lawsuits that are going to be filed, all this kind of stuff. And um, if people aren't going to take it seriously in the first place, then, then why not just do what Sweden did and just let everybody just be a free-for-all? And it begs the question, uh, let's say you're able to ride dirt bikes, quads, you know, jump, you know, jump over your house with your dirt bike. You're able to get in a squirrel suit and jump off of a cliff and do proximity flying and do skydiving and all that kind of stuff, bungee jumping, all those kind of things. And should it just be up to an individual's discretion if they want to wear a mask, if they want to take any kind of precaution, or if they just want to just kind of go out there and free ball it? Um, you know, but then you have to ask, well, what's the burden on the state and the state going back to people's tax money? Because, okay, let's just say different states have different helmet laws for motorcycles. And, you know, you think like if someone wrecks, then it's like, well, if they wreck, you know, it's their, it's their fault, it's their thing. But if they don't have health insurance, their health insurance isn't going to cover the fact that they didn't have a helmet on and they cracked their skull and they get incapacitated and they're in the hospital and the ICU for a month, it could, you know, kind of fall back on the state. Um, to take care of people who are injured or sick or something like that. And that's going to be like an overwhelming burden if too many people are sick. Now, I don't, you know, there's always going to be treatments and, uh, you know, the potential of vaccine that people are kind of take, keep hanging on to that hopium and stuff. But I don't really see that being a viable thing um, just because look how long cancer has been out and people working on it day in and day out trying to, you know, remedy the situation there or different viruses we still can't really get a complete handle on the flu and um if you look at the spanish flu in 1918 that was h1n1 and then in 2009 swine flu was h1n1 it's just a different strain so things mutate you can never really get a handle on it and um you know should we have went on lockdown now my personal opinion is that i think it is good that we went on lockdown and it kind of woke everybody up like, oh shoot, this is serious. Here's the thing. And I almost think that they should probably at this point kind of just um, tell everybody that, hey, this is very serious. This is no hoax. This is no drill. Take all precautions. Six feet social distancing is complete BS. You're really gonna need 25, 30 feet. Um, you know, these particles are like one micron you know, diameter or whatever, and just, which is like one sixth of the diameter of a hair or something like that. It's just floating around out there. And, um, you know, even after I go here, I'm going to take all this stuff off. I'm going to throw all this stuff in the washer and I'm going to take a shower, you know, the whole bit and everything just completely, you know, decontaminate, so to speak. Um, now a lot of you might be looking at me like, dude, what are you doing? And then secondly, I'm sitting here trying to figure out a way to play baseball this summer. Um, you know, and is that illogical, you know, but I don't want this thing. I don't need viruses in my life. I don't need some virus chewing at my lungs and stuff like that. 
um, I don't need my lung capacity to be diminished or whatever else this thing's going to do. It might stay in your system and be kind of immune deficiency kind of thing. And it almost might be like, kind of like, um, HIV or something, you know, these viruses, does your body ever really defeat them or they just kind of stay dormant in your body. And then when you get weak, they kind of reoccur. Uh, that's kind of the question mark who knows. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, should it be left up to the individual to take on that risk? That's what I want to know from you guys. A lot, I know there's, I'm going to get every single comment and I want every one of them from this is a hoax, this doesn't exist, to yeah, there's going to be, you know, 500,000 people that are going to die, or there's going to be a million people that are going to die. Um, you know, what are, what are you guys' honest thoughts on this whole situation at this point? But uh, like I said, I'm taking all precautions and and maybe it is kind of silly for me to be thinking that we can play baseball this summer up in Montana, some remote location. I mean, the way this thing's going, we might have to play in the Yukon Territory, you know, on a yak pasture. But, hey, you know, try to figure it out. Try to thug out. I do see a couple masks up there. No gloves. I got gloves. Hey, I ordered a gas mask from China, but it's still not here yet. Um, hopefully I get that soon because this is a little bit harder to hold up the way this is uh, but anyway guys what do you guys think is this serious should we just open it up do a free-for-all you know and and just just every man for themselves anyway guys please subscribe really helps the channel give a thumbs up helps the channel helps the algorithm and follow me on all social media at brian phobos youtube instagram steam it twitter hive friendster myspace everywhere see you guys